Well, Gumby uh, was the little green clay figure that became a cult figure almost uh, over the years. And it uh, was uh, a different kind of animation. It was created by a man by the name of Art Clokey. It was not the same as claymation. It was uh, trimensional animation. It was clay animation and puppets and miniatures and so forth. And he brought this to NBC very early in the game, I think around 1955, maybe, I can't remember exactly. The, My reference here shows 56. 56, probably. And uh, I was intrigued by it at the time, and the program people on the West Coast were intrigued by it, so I made a deal with him to make a number of these uh, animated films with the Gumby characters. And uh, it was marginally successful. I wouldn't say it was a great success, but it was marginally successful. After a period of time, NBC didn't want it anymore, and Cloakey bought back the rights to the uh, films and uh, worked out a deal with uh, it was Ziv, I think, at that time. And a syndicator. A syndicator. And syndicated it. And uh, it had a, an interesting following. And it, uh, over the years, it developed almost a cult feeling. And he would go around and, uh, to colleges and uh, lecture and show Gumby and lecture. And it, it became a character that everybody liked. And it, they were intriguing little programs aimed mostly at young people and at children. And after I left NBC, many, many years later, and I was in my own, having my own business, one day Art Clokey showed up at my office and said, uh, and I hadn't seen him for a number of years, and he said, uh, I'm trying to get a Gumby movie made. Would, you know, you were the godfather of Gumby. Would you like to get involved and try to help me make the movie? And I said, sure. So I tried to see if I could get anybody interested in financing a Gumby movie. And I was not successful in doing that. But in the course of doing that, I met with the people at Lorimar Telepictures, specifically Dick Robertson, who was then the head of it. He's now the head of domestic television for syndication for uh, Warner Brothers. And he was intrigued by the project, not as a movie, but as doing some more for a syndication package. If he could get the, the old films, which he was able to do. So we made an additional series of Gumby, new Gumbies, put together with the old ones. And they were syndicated by Lorimar, and they're still in syndication by uh, Warner Brothers. Now they're on the... Uh, uh, cartoon Channel, you know, one of the cable networks. And uh, it had a, a resurgence, uh, both in merchandising and uh, in syndication.